Here, here. Deputy Speaker, I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't say that Ann Jones rang me today from Merino. And she's not happy with the way this nation's treating its asylum seekers, especially those on Manus and Nauru. Uh, she shares that with a lot of people. But I've got to say to you this, and say it very sincerely, it's up to this parliament to give the Prime Minister and the opposition leader the best shot they possibly got to resolve the situation, we, the dilemma we face today. That is a bridge between the Australian people. But I want to mention the member for Jellybrand and thank you for bringing this forward. And I'll name him so that the public listening to this know that it's Tim Watts and he's a member for Jellybrand and he's a Labor member. And what he's actually put out is a clarion call to compassion, conscience and common sense. What we can actually do here in this moment is look at what other countries have done in the first instance about bringing people in, whether it be 500 or 275,000, over and above, over and above Canada's quota. Now, Canada's 36 million people. Well, we're 24.6. They've brought in 275,000 over and above their quota uh, under Tony Abbott, 13,750. Commendable. Shorten, the desire was 27,000. Turnbull, 16,250, but I'll up you to 18,750. The difficulty is it's a tiny drop in the bucket for those just in our own region. Our region, our region, where we've got five times the people that go to the grand final and some home and away games, five times waiting off our shores. Now, I know we can't take them all, I'm not even dreaming about being able to take them all. But what we can do is say, well, righto, where a community wants to sponsor families, people, individuals, we can make it easier for them to do that. We've had a pilot program under the Gillard Rudd government. We've had that followed through with the Turnbull government. It's all positive, but it's 500 people. You know, it's terrific, but there's more that goes through the pie stand at the MCG you know, in about 20 minutes than that. And we are a better country than that. We've talked about our values and the way we approach this world, and we have a view of ourselves. We have a view of ourselves as the fair go country, as a country that really makes a difference to its, to its populace by saying to them, no, 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 doesn't matter whether it's education, the law, any area of life, we're going to make sure that you get a fair go. That's what my dad always said to me, you know, don't ever go, you've got to give them a fair go, give them a fair go. It's in our DNA. Fairness, it's in our DNA. But we then don't carry that through internationally the way that I believe we should. And I can't stand here and, and say, well, I can't say this because my party will be upset with me. Because this is about relationships. What the member for Jolly Brand has put forward is this, that you bring a group of people in, into a community that have sponsored it, so they've got skin in the game, they want a desired outcome because they've sponsored it, it's cost them money, um, and they want an outcome from those people. But what it causes within that community, which the member for Mallee raised without actually saying it was, it enhanced the relationships between the refugee and the broader community. And it wasn't a matter of integrating them into the community. They were already there because the people had skin in the game, because you've got to make it work, because we've committed ourselves to this. These are the important things that this type of program that the member for Jellybrand has raised with us for our discussion tonight. Um, I don't know what it would be like to be displaced um, and be on my own tonight. But I'd like to think there was some Australian somewhere in some place, like Tim Watts saying, community or private sponsorship programs allow non-government actors like business, religious organisations, community groups and individuals to meet the costs of an application, a visa application. I'm actually really sorry, Deputy Speaker, that I'm out of time because um, this can be an important program that everybody can get value from. You can actually feel good about something that we're doing together as a nation. 
and I commend the member for Jollybrand for bringing it to the attention of the parliament.